I'm Mike Bradner, and this is Capital Views, and we have with us today uh, Representative David Eastman, who's a freshman who hails from the Matsu Valley. And uh, David, welcome, and tell us a little about yourself. Oh, thank you very much. Well, I'm a freshman legislator from the Matsu. Uh, been here a couple of weeks now. Prior to coming down for a session, I hadn't been in Juneau for longer than I think about five days at the longest, so all very new. And you have family. Tell us about your family. Well, we have uh, two girls, uh, both young. The oldest is, is walking. The youngest is only five months. Uh, they're with me down here for session. I'm glad to have them with me. Good. That's, so, I mean, that's like the old days. There used to be lots of kids around. Is I that heard nice? that. Yes, um, uh, I think Representative Grimm uh, Grin is, is also down here with kids, but not too many others. There's, there's a couple. So, uh, give us a little background of where you came from and how you got here. and. And, uh, well, I, uh, I started off, I think, in about kindergarten asking my parents if they would uh, leave California and come up to Alaska. Uh, my, my arguing skills weren't very good at the time, so they decided to stay put. I had to wait until the Army was willing to send me up here. So, so you went to school where? Yeah. I went to West Point, uh, which is in New York, and then uh, as soon as I could graduate, they sent me here. And after serving your time? Uh, well, this was my first duty oh, assignment in the yeah. Army. That's so interesting. I, I stopped off in a place called Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri for about uh, three, four months, and then was up here for about six years. And you stayed? And stayed. So uh, tell us, now you're on what committees, and, and uh, what do you think of this process? And well, what would you uh, like to s sense that you would see happen? Well, I'd like to see all the problems fixed quickly and head back home soon. How's that? That's good. <laughs> That's, uh, <laughs> the, uh, so the, today I was working on uh, Judiciary Council, or Judiciary uh, Committee, and I'm also serving uh, as an alternate legislative council, but, um, but Judiciary was the talk today, so we were talking. We had the Attorney General come in and give her presentation on um, you know, how things are working in her department, and I'm sure we're going to spend some more time with her over the next few weeks. There's a lot of overview going on, so. A lot of overview. And a lot of new freshmen. I mean, that, that means that this right. overview is, uh, and we're sort of waiting, everybody's waiting for the, the real shoe to drop. And it's been fairly, fairly tame so far, I would say. And that's been nice, because there's a lot of us who have a lot to learn. It gives yeah. us a chance to start catching up. So uh, what do you think the equation is going to be that solves this session? We got it. Oh, um, well, I haven't found it yet. So, uh, so give me a few more days. You're willing to listen? Uh, willing to listen. Uh, I wouldn't be able to, to do my job if I couldn't. Yeah. So uh, tell us a little about your district. Well, my district uh, abuts uh, Wasilla city limits. So we're north and east and west of Wasilla. And it includes the city of Talkeetna, the uh, city of Houston, Willow, uh, Squentna, and, and the rural portion of the western Matsu. So you sort of wrap around and go way up the parks. So we you do. must have a lot of small schools that... that Quite a few I, schools. A lot of time on school buses. Uh, I'm sure, I'm sure. And then uh, a whole lot of the parks highways in my district. So, and, and what, what, what kind of problems do they have? I mean, the... Well, one of the things you'll, you'll hear, um, we're going to have a, a town hall here coming up on SB 91 and crime. I guess crime is probably one of the uh, crime and highway safety roads. Those are those are the big issues right now. And that's a bill that passed last year as sort of an omnibus yes. bill, yes. and that kind of bill. There's something for everybody to dislike in it. That's right. I mean, you that's, get it big enough, you you'll probably get something that's probably that's not right. good in it. Because it was supposed to deal with such a wide range of problems. So yes. they've been talking to you already about it. And uh, yes, many people have, and and I'm sure I'll hear more. So. Uh, Who's talking most? Well, um, law enforcement, or you know, it, a lot of the attention in criminal justice issues gets paid to both uh, criminals uh, and victims and law enforcement. Mm -hmm. But um, but a lot of times you don't have spend up a lot of time talking about just your average everyday people that you know could be affected by it or or might feel less safe or more likely to become a victim at some point in the future. So. Um, certainly we're hearing from those three categories, but at the town hall we had just before I, I came down for session, 
Um, the Menard Sports Center was packed out with just average, everyday people saying we need to, to do something. And so, did they give you some insight on what something, well, or the, basically want to feel safe? Sure, well, that's, that's the biggest part of it, so, yeah. Their families and housing them. Mm -hmm. And uh, so have you been, law enforcement's been weighing in there? Yes, uh, state troopers were rep well represented. Uh, Director, uh, Commissioner of Public Safety was there. Uh, so they're definitely and You have the prison. You have two prisons. And, and well, we had two and I think we're, you know, we're down one now, but, uh, but we still have the, the large prison, yes. So they closed one up. Uh, Palmer Correctional. Okay. They, yeah. that's, uh, that's always a tough one. And you live in a highly rural area where people may feel a little more exposed uh, sure. to the potential. And so, David, we're virtually out of time, and uh, it's been good to have you, and I wish you good Thank fortune you. in being here and your family. So, uh, Well, many thanks. We'll thank take all here. the help we can get. Okay. This is Capital Views. We've been talking to Representative David Eastman from Wasilla, and a Republican. Thank we'll you. put that in there.